So you're using TeamViewer now to offer support remotely, or you're using it because you need remote support. Well, whichever use case you fall into, you're in the right place. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to set up your parameters. So follow me and don't miss a step. So if you've downloaded the app, this is what it's going to look like and you can use it on your browser as well. So on the left hand side, you'll see your menu. You've got a full menu here and from the left hand side, you're going to use remote support to actually connect with another device. So there's two options. If you are in need of assistance and somebody needs to get onto your device, you will to click on join a session. What will happen here is you will add the session code, which will be generated by the other person. So if you are wanting to create a session, this is where you actually get that code from. So from here, you can create a session name right at the top. And then this is the session code or link to be able to connect with another person so you'll go ahead and click on the share icon over here you can copy this link you can copy the code or you can copy an invitation and send that out you can also add email addresses over here at the bottom and you can connect your devices in that way you also have an option to connect with industry professionals with the assist AR. This basically connects you with people that are really, really qualified to uh, sort out whatever issue you may be experiencing. If you're going now out of this and you're going to your menu again, we're going to go all the way down to the settings. Now, this is basically where you are going to set up how you interact with other devices when connected. So you can see over here, we have our account settings such as profile picture, name, contact details, display language. And then we're going to go to active sign ins. Here you can see where your sign ins came from, what devices they were and when they actually signed in. This is important because if you are perhaps having access um, from somebody that is not supposed to have access to your device, you'll be able to pick up that information over here. You can also go into your connection reports, which gives you a little bit more of a detailed report. On the device section, you can go into general and here you can define some of your general device details. So some of the important things here is, of course, security. You want to make sure that you're going in here and defining your security parameters, such as blocking certain people or users, also setting up two factor authentication and then defining your access control. So if you go into access control here, you will see that you can start to define who has access and what type of access they have. So on the left hand side over here, you'll have your menu, but on the right hand side, that menu will open up. So if you see at the top here, it says access control and you can define what kind of access a user may have when they are having access to your device. You can now also um, define the random password detail. So if you would like to uh, have a random password generated, you can set that up over there. And then you can also enable or disable the local input for incoming connections. So that means while there is a, a connection that is active, will you or will you not have access to controls on your device? You can also go into some of the other options here, uh, such as security tab, and you can further configure unattended access. So when you are toggling this on, you are enabling easy access. So when somebody is trying to connect to your device, they don't actually need you to accept their session income or give them permission to have access to your device. Now, this is only advised, of course, if you are connecting with somebody that you know and trust. You can now also define some of those um, characteristics here, such as the passwords and the rules for connecting to your device with that unattended access. There are some other things that you can go ahead from here and define, such as audio and video. If you are wanting to have audio and video access you can go into your microphone 
speakers and video and you can define what sort of video resolution and source you'll be using as well as the uh, settings for your speaker and if you'd like to speak to whoever you're connecting to you'll have to enable your microphone choose the correct microphone and then just define those properties and other than all of the details in settings once you've set it up it's as see easy as simple as literally creating a session and connecting with whomever you need to connect with now if this was a helpful guide drop us a like and we'll see you next time peace